हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल जियोलॉजिका इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द जनरल आइडिया ऑफ जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल एंड नाउ दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू एन इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट फॉर इंडियन स्ट्रेटोग्राफी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट फॉर अवर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड हेयर वी विल सी अबाउट द आर्कियन रॉक्स बिलोंगिंग टू द आर्कियन योन and the purana basins or purana rocks belonging to the proterozoic eon time period and we will see these things with the help of geological map of india which is provided by the geological survey of india so the main aim to making this video is to develop and develop an interest about the indian stratigraphy how the stratigraphy begins so from the previous video we knows that there are four eon namely hadean archean proterozoic and phanerozoic out of those you we don't know much about the hadean but we have the older non rocks belonging to the archean age from a 4000 million years to about the around 2500 million years of then we have the proterozoic rocks then finally we have the younger that are the phanerozoic rocks so whenever we talk about these rocks of archeans and proterozoics we should have a general idea about the large continental amalgamations or we can say the supercontinents so we all know about the pangaea supercontinent so before the pangaea there are several other supercontinents as well like uh, from older to younger we can classify them as ur continent then kinoraland continent columbia continent supercontinent rhodania supercontinent and pannotia supercontinent so in this video as i have already told that we will discuss about the archean rocks and the purana rocks or the proterozoic rocks we will mainly deal from the around the 2500 million years and mainly the columbia and rhodania supercontinents so as we move further we will see how columbia and rhodania continents supercontinents can be identified on the basis of indian stratigraphy so whenever we see about the geological map of india we can uh, simply look around some basic colors we have yellow color we have green color we have several pink shades we have reddish color also so if you will look uh, a close eye you will see that there are five specific patches of red color 1 2 3 4 and the fifth one so these five patches of red colors are the oldest rock which ever found in the indian subcontinent and these are what we known as the um, cratons such as you have the lower one that is known as your dharwar craton then you have here bastar craton this one then you have singhbhum craton you have the bundelkhand and aravalli cratons sometimes bundelkhand and aravalli can be considered as one uh, we can we call them as bundelkhand aravalli craton so these are the different different cratons and by matching of them we have the boundaries and these boundaries are nothing but the mobile beds so simply now you can see that cratons are the stable portion of continent and the boundaries between these cratons are the mobile belts because earlier these cratons are not together they are different and when they come closer definitely at the boundary there will be certain type of deformations folding faulting rifting and that's why the boundary makes the mobile belts and the remaining part is your stable part which is known as craton 
सो दस दीज आर द फाइव बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक ओल्डेस्ट रॉक यूनिट्स ऑफ इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट नो वाट वी नोज वी नोज अबाउट द क्रेटॉन दीज आर ब्रॉड सेंट्रल एरियाज ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट दैट हैव रिमेंड टेक्टोनिकली स्टेबल फॉर प्रोलॉन्ग्ड पीरियड आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट दे आर ऑलवेज स्टेबल बट दे आर स्टेबल फ्रॉम अ लार्ज पीरियड ऑफ टाइम फ्रॉम द प्रोलॉन्ग्ड पीरियड सो दिस इज अबाउट द क्रेटॉन्स देन वॉट अदर वी नो वी नोज दैट द अमालगमेशन ऑफ दीज क्रेटॉन्स आर फाउंड अराउंड द टू थाउजेंड मिलियन ईयर एगो नाउ वी शुड सी अबाउट दिस एज टू थाउजेंड मिलियन ईयर्स एगो सो वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग अराउंड द टू थाउजेंड मिलियन ईयर एगो वी हैव अराउंड द कोलम्बिया दिस पीरियड ऑफ टाइम फ्रॉम टू पॉइंट वन बिलियन वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स दिस दैट मीन्स दिस इज द टाइम वेन द क्रिटोन्स आर अमाल गमेटिंग दे आर कमिंग क्लोज टूगेदर दे वर फॉर्मिंग द कोलम्बिया सुपर कॉन्टिनेंट सो नाउ यू कैन को रिलेट हाउ दीज मोबाइल बेल्ट एंड क्रेटॉन्स कैन बी यूज एज द पेलियो इन्वामेंट और द पेलियो लिथोस्फेयर सो एट दैट टाइम पीरियड द फाइव क्रेटॉन्स विच वी आर नॉन एज टूडे एज धारवार बस्तर सिंहभूम बुंदेलखंड अरावली दे वर कमिंग क्लोज टूगेदर टू फॉर्म द सुपर कॉन्टिनेंट कोलम्बिया ओके नाउ वॉट वी नो अदर थिंग is the inner and intracraton orogenic movement have been taken place now when the two things come close together definitely there will be orogeny orogeny is simply a mountain building process so the orogenic movement either inter or intracratonic inter means between the two craton and intra means within the craton so there are orogenic mountain building processes within a craton and between the cratons has taken place that's why you have the different mountains and such as we have the nellore schist belt we have the kotri dongargar orogen we have the mahakausal hindoli orogens and others so these are some examples when we see the stratigraphy or of these five cratons we will read about all of these three orogens so this was about the archean time period we have a lot of rocks as uh, when we were discussing about the geological time scale i have told that during the archean time we are not getting any fossil records or any records uh, which we can which shows the life so we have no life and we are also not getting uh, much amount of sedimentary rocks so we have mainly uh, igneous rocks and definitely if there is orogenic movements and amalgamation collision definitely these rocks will be metamorphosed so we have metamorphic rocks and a small amount of maybe one or two patches of sedimentary rocks may be found in these cratons so cratons are mainly consist of igneous and metamorphic rocks when we discuss these cratons in deep we will see we will get mostly igneous and metamorphic rocks now with the passage of time these cratons have already collided and the orogenic have been taken place now definitely if there is formation of a highland areas there will be development of certain low level areas on which the sediments should be deposited if we have a higher areas definitely there will be erosion weathering erosion transportation and these sediments which are generating from these orogenies they will be deposited in the lowland areas these lowland areas are what we known as the proterozoic basins now during this 2000 million year ago when they are completely amalgamated there are formations of certain small small basins like that of proterozoic paleo proterozoic basins so you know that the paleo proterozoic basinal age is 1600 to 
2500 million year so the same time period when the cretons was amalgamating there are formation of certain basins and these basins are known as the proterozoic basins which you can see in this picture a lot of basins are given here kudappa basin kurnool kaladgi pakhal here you have the bastar basin chatisgarh basin great vindhyan basins delhi supergroup marwar supergroups aravalli supergroup so these all are the proterozoic time period rocks and as we know that these rocks are formed because of the orogenic movement so because of uh, the sediments are deriving from these orogenic movements these are the sedimentary rocks and mostly we get here the sandstones ortho quartzite and limestone rocks so that's why these mesoproterozoic paleoproterozoics or the whole purana basins these are mainly the sedimentary rock formations so now here uh, there is a general idea about the proterozoic basins so here it is the paleoproterozoic the oldest proterozoic division and here we will get the bijavard sonray basin and harda iron layers as well as the gwalior basin within the bundelkhand craton if you will see here this is the bundelkhand craton so after the origin is having taking, taking place during the same period you can see a small black points are here one is here another one is here so these are the small basins which are started developing and the sediments were going on the way for their deposition which are known as the paleoproterozoic basins same as in the bastar craton we have the abhujmar basin somewhere here and for the dharwar craton the kudappa basin which is this a crescent shape basin which uh, you can see here this this is the dhar uh, sorry this is the papaghani or kudappa sub basin kudappa basin so these are the basin which are started developing because of their orogenic movements later on when the orogenies has almost complete or they are about to complete uh, many basins are developed these are the earlier one then with the passage of time the great basins like the great vindhyan basin a uh, large amount of sediments are deposited in the chatisgarh basin we have the kharar indrapati savri here prahnita godavari basin here you have the kudappa kaladgi and the bhima basins which are developed so this is the development of how proterozoic basins are developed so if we will look around the paleo proterozoic basins oh so earlier there is development of small basins such as your gwalior basin bijavar basin and here is your the abhujmar basin this is the fifth point is your abhujmar basin these small basins are developed then after that you have the large basins this is the kudappa this is the chatisgarh basin this is the vindhyan basin all some part of these basins or these rocks are eroded and they are overlies by the younger rocks such as you have the great great deccan trap so because of deccan trap many rocks or the many areas of vindhyan basin are now covered so this is about the how archean rocks and how the proterozoic rocks or what we known as the purana basins which is mainly dominated by the sedimentary sequence so how these basins are developed now what we know is these basins have been developed contemporaneously with the diastrophism and formation of inner and intracratonic orogenies contemporaneously means at the same time with the diastrophism when the orogenic movement have been taken place because of amalgamation of these cretons basins are developed what we known as the proterozoic basins and what we other things knows we knows that the amalgamation of craton 
is around 2000 million years ago which was the time of supercontinent Columbia and the southern protocontinent broke up then after the collision and these basins are being developed at the same time there is breaking up of the southern protocontinent by which by this breakup we have the development of eastern guard mobile belt and uh, yeah, SMB SMB stands for the what I think it is Sergi Palli mobile belts uh, I have just forgot this name so this is the eastern guard mobile belt is developed because of the protocontinent breakup and because of the because this is a breakup that means the heat is much larger heat is more than the natural so because of this breaking up the certain uh, the basins which are being dev developed they are got affected and this affection is recorded in the surrounding areas of this surrounding areas such as the Chhattisgarh basin that is affected Bastar basin this also affected and Nalla Malai cyst belt this also got affected and because of this affection we get the uh, we get an idea that something has happened related to the breaking up and that breaking up was the southern protocontinental breakup and development of eastern Ghat mobile belt now this breakup has also been recorded as the arc magmatism and the carbonatite rocks if you uh, if you know about the igneous petrology then you may know that arc magmatism and carbonatitic rocks are mainly associated with the breakup or with the rifting so that's why the occurrence of these two rocks we have we have a clear cut idea that there is a protocontinental breakup so this was the time period of 1500 to 1000 million years that means what is the time period 1500 to 1000 million years so we were moving towards the breakup of Colombia and the amalgamation of Rodenia so with the start of amalgamation of Colombia rocks we have moved to the amalgamation of Rodenia during this time period so this is the significance of the stratigraphy Indian stratigraphy now in the next videos we will see about the about deep information about these cretons and these uh, proterozoic basins or purana basins and related to the sedimentary rocks now one more thing here is to notice in the archean rocks we have these cretons igneous and metamorphic rocks so we have the ores we have many ores gold ores of gold ores of uh, what you have another copper so these ores all are related to the igneous and metamorphic activities such as you have the early magmatic processes ore deposit ore deposited by the late magmatic processes ore deposited by the hydrothermal processes ore deposited by the metamorphic processes so all of these processes we got ores from these processes which will be found in the in these cretons so when we read about these cretons definitely we should get this type of ores okay so when we will see we will also discuss this part of the Indian stratigraphy so it's all about for today thank you